All right, hello guys and girls, this is Example, and today I want to bring to you my new contraption. It's the Lazy As River. That's right, it's a river that's lazy. I mean, wait, am I lazy? Ah! <laughs> hello, llama. Those llama sounds really crack me up. Okay, so how this works is you want to get in a boat and go for a ride and survey your world. But if you're like me and you don't want to lift an arm to row an oar, you can do it right now. That's right, what we have right here is an automatic boat pushing machine, uh, which is why we call it the Lazy River. So how it works is we place, hey, keep it down. How it works is we place a boat down here, quickly jump in, and off our boat goes. Now I'm gonna quickly just turn around here a little bit. Now you can see behind us that the water is dissipating while we're being propelled forwards by the next lot of water. Now this will help reduce server lag, I believe. Okay, so we're about to come to a corner. Now these corners are a little bit tricky and the wiring for these corners is very difficult. So I'm not sure I'm gonna go into a tutorial on how to do that today, but I think I will make available the world download so that you can have a little poke around and see how it's wired up. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna confess this right now. It's not a brilliant job. Um, it can be compacted and made a lot easier, but for the sake of getting this video out, I wanted to get it done. Yeah, so this is a little idea I had. When I was lying in bed thinking, I really want to row a boat from my base to my witch farm, but you know what? I don't want to hold down any keys. I just want to ride and survey the area and look out my window. Don't you think it's neat being able to see your world without having to paddle? <laughs> I do. The neat thing about this device is that you can also go in the other direction. So it's bi-directional, it's just not one direction. So if I choose to, actually, I could turn around and go back the other way right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it to the end and show you how this comes to a complete stop and then we'll go back the other way. All right, there we go. And that's it. So the last pressure plate turns off the previous lot of water and we are out. Yay! All right, so to go back the other way, it's a simple process. You place the boat down, jump in, and, and, and. Off we go. <laughs> that was a little bit, that was a little bit sad. Anyway, so if you place it down correctly and hop in at the right time, you can get it going back the other way. So as we look behind us, you can see the water is turning off once more. So it is truly bi-directional. We can go around the corners in both directions and that's what makes this really cool. In fact, if you're going down a long tunnel and you've forgotten to take your ax, you can actually turn around on the pressure plate you just landed on and go back the other way, just like that. See there, we just turn around and if we look back the other way there, we can see the water is turning off behind us. So you can go back if you need to, but it's a little bit, you need to do a little bit of good timing there. All right, so anyway, that's enough of this lazy river riding. Let's go head off into the test world and take a look at how to make it, make it, well, make a bit of it. All right, so here we go. Here is my test world, and this is where I actually created the monstrosity that you saw previously. Now, I'm just going to quickly just do a little bit of a fly around, and you can see the circuitry that we've got going on here. Now, there's a little bit of a trick to this. We need to determine whether or not the water is being dispensed. Therefore, um, if we do know that it's being dispensed, that we should turn it off. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit, little bit tricky. This wiring looks a little bit complicated, but it's actually not that bad. What's really bad are these corners. Now, um, yeah, I, I don't really want to do this in this um, tutorial because I, it's, it's really complicated. Um, I will do it if you force me to do it. If you keep requesting that I should do it, then we'll do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, build a section of this on the straight. Let's do the straight ways. So uh, there's, there's, a, there's a particular way to do this. Um, everything has to be built in the same direction. Basically, we want all the circuitry on this side, the inside, to be exactly the same all the way around, apart from the corners, which are a bit different. So everything is facing in the same direction. What I mean by that are these, these torches are facing in the same direction. It's very important. Otherwise, um, you'll get a little bit of, um, well, you, you're, 
your circuitry will get a little bit crosswired. All right, so what I want to do is I want to um, explain a little bit how wide this thing is and how high it is. I believe it's 11 wide. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 wide and 6 high. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so before we get started in building a section, let's take a look at how it works. Now, here is a section of the Lazy River. This is pretty much the, um, the brains of it all. Now this section pretty much is uh, repeatable, uh, so you can keep building this section over and over again for as long as you like and it will make, you, make your boat travel forwards and you can also turn around and go backwards. So this is a, um, a pretty neat little design. So first of all I need to um, <laughs> hopefully do this without wrecking anything. Let's grab some water. Where's the water? Here we go, water. Uh, let's just replace that for a second. And we're gonna place a bucket of water inside here and one inside here. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use some glass because I don't want it pouring all over my redstone just yet, do we? Not at all. Let's grab some glass. Now the glasses just show you um, the water coming out and it's not going to be in our final build. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is pretty much it. So I want to bring your attention to this comparator right here. Now what it's doing at the moment is testing for bucket of water that's full. When it's full, it's putting out, um, well, it, it's lighting up two pieces of redstone. It will not light up three, so if I place down a third, it's not being lit up, as you can see there. So it's basically saying, okay, so if the bucket of water is full, let's power up these two bits of redstone. And that's going to turn this torch off. So this torch is not powered at all. Now, um, that's pretty much the premise of the whole idea. This is how we test for the, if the water is out. So if I jump on top of this pressure plate, the water is out. Now, um, when that happens, it only powers one piece of redstone the torch turns on and powers this piston. So this piston now completes the circuit. So if there's any power coming from this direction, it's going to go through this block, through this redstone, through that repeater, through this block and up this redstone ladder and then power on these suspensors causing the water to retract. So let's go ahead and just try that right now. There we go. So the water retracts. And once the power is off, our circuit is back to how it was. So how it works on the other side, let's light this up again. Okay, there we go. So the same process, we've powered this torch and the redstone is now running across this bridge. Now we're using half slabs here because we don't want to have our redstone interfering with anything else going on around us. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use half slabs, but I found that when I'm doing the corners, and I've got an extra redstone running around the place, it's better not to power anything by accident. So the redstone goes through this block and then through this repeater so we can extend our redstone powers because <laughs> it only goes for a certain distance and then it gets cut off, so we're, 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 we're increasing our powers. <laughs> I know, it's a bit of a joke. So um, the redstone powers this piston and then completes this circuit. So if we have um, a signal coming from this side, let's just do this now, it will shut our water off again. So this is how we can go in two directions. And um, it will become more apparent why we're doing this in a second once we build the next section. So I guess we can go ahead now and build a section of this. Now to find out where to um, build the next section, we just count out six blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the sixth block, that's where we place our pressure plate. There we go. So we should have like five blocks in between. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can shorten this up by one block, but I don't know. It's just going to make things a bit complicated with your redstone. So um, this is the maximum you can go. You can't go any further than that. It's five blocks. Um, well, six if you include where the pressure plate is. All right. So now that we've got that, we need to um, add a solid block on each side of that. And that is just where the water is going to flow. 
you can use any block and then we're going to place down a dispenser facing upwards on each side so there so you should have something like that and into that we're going to place our bucket of water but we won't do that until we have finished the rest of it because you can set off your redstone by accident <laughs> and that wrecks things okay so directly below this dispenser we're going to place a solid block and the same with this one and that's going to allow us to pass power into that block which will power this dispenser on this side we're going to run out another three blocks and out from the dispenser we're going to place down a comparator and two pieces of redstone dust like that and then we're going to place a redstone torch on the side now at the moment that redstone torch is on but as soon as we place in a bucket of water it will turn off now I'm going to leave my bucket of water in there and hope for the best uh, that I don't trigger it by accident <laughs> and we'll see how we go all right so let's just go around this um, section by just finishing off this side first so as you can see we've got a piston that needs to be added to this so I'm going to place down a few blocks just to get that piston into place so we're going to go down a couple like this and that should be where the piston goes right yep right there so let's just break these blocks again and place down our piston there we go now um this is this this particular block we don't need it so what's going to happen now is we're going to start tying in the second part to the first part and by doing that all we need to do is just run some redstone dust down like that so what's going to happen is this redstone torch is going to power this block that piston this block this block and push push power back around through there so if this one is on and this one turns on then it'll turn that one off it'll become more evident in a minute we'll we'll go through the whole thing again once we've um, done that bit so let's just break that block too we don't need that one uh, and on the sticky piston we need to place another block like this there we go and so you should have something like that um, it's, it's, it is pretty simple the way I've explained it is a little bit complicated because I'm trying to explain how the thing works whilst building it so we place down two pieces of redstone dust put our redstone torch on and then we've placed this block here this piston and it'll push this block in and out and then we've just made a step down so that we can power the rest of the circuit on the other one all right so let's move around to the other side now the other side doesn't need any um, comparators because we're using one comparator to do the work of two okay so underneath this is where some magic happens now i'm just going to place these two blocks here i'm going to break them in a second well one of them anyway i'm going to need my half slab so I'm going to place the half slab right there next to that block there. And then I'm going to break this block. So why we use a half slab here is so that we can step the power up um, from the circuit below. So I'm going to place another solid block there like that. So you should have something that looks like this now. So a piece of redstone dust in the middle. And that gets powered by the pressure plate when you stand on it. And then we need a redstone repeater to push power into this block. Which will power that dispenser. The same on the other side. There we go so that will power both of these now and we should have water coming out when the power goes through it now we need to step this power up here so we're going to place another two blocks straight down like that and one in the middle so now we have something like that and we're going to place a piece of redstone dust right there now i'm going to place this block here and then break it in a minute then i place a, a half slab here and what this will allow us to do is step up some redstone power now you should be able to see it worked by the direction of this redstone it is going down here to connect to that and the same with this redstone here it's changed direction uh, and facing towards that one there we go all right so that part's done now we need to um, finish the rest of our reset switch uh, circuit sorry reset circuit so another block there another one there another one there and then underneath this one we don't really need a block um at all but we need one here so what's going to happen is this piston is going to be powered the block is going to move out to here and that will complete our circuit right so we're going to place a repeater facing in that direction and then some redstone dust here and then another repeater here and that will complete that circuit so now you can see that we're starting to do patterns so we're basically repeating the pattern that we had over here uh on this side here all right 
On this side here, we need to do a reset um, circuit. So it's another three blocks, like so. We've got a repeater in there, and I'm setting it to one tick. Now, in my testing, I thought this would be a good idea, and by default, I've just left it. And it, it helps a little bit when you've got two pressure plates pushed by accident. Not that it actually works that well. Sometimes you can get it to trick it to turn back to um, off. But anyway, that's why it's there. You I don't think you really need it because we've added an extra comparator, he uh, sorry, extra repeater here. All right, so now we've got power coming from this other section and it's stepping down, um, but we need to um, do the same thing as we've done here with this with this uh, sticky piston. So um, let's place a block right here and finish this other circuit. So we've got a, a um, repeater going in this direction. So make sure all these repeaters are going in the same direction. And we're gonna add another block here and then place some redstone dust there. And what this does is allows the power to come from this circuit down here and then shut this one off. So um, what we're going to have is we're going to have a um, block here. So we can break this one and place down our sticky piston. There we go. The sticky piston is going to push this block open and then complete that circuit and that will shut that one off. All right. So... We haven't brought the circuit around yet, so <laughs> yeah, this does get complicated. So we're going to bring this block, the circuit across here by using half slabs all the way across, right until we reach this bit, and then we're going to place a solid block here. Uh, and the reason why we're using a solid block is to get power to this other piston. So let's um, bring this out to here and then a solid block on top of that sticky piston. And what this should do is um, power that piston once we've run the redstone. So redstone goes all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we've got a repeater coming out of this block. Make sure it looks exactly the same as that one. And then redstone going all the way across to the piston. And then we step that down ready for the next section. Wow. Complicated. Okay, so I think we need to test this. So we need to build the part to hold the water in now just so that we don't end up um, ruining this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and place some blocks there. So these white blocks here are going to be the rail or the inside wall that holds the water in. So this will be a solid wall of your choosing, or you can use glass, I guess. Um, and I need to grab those uh, that block of glass again and close this off so we don't wreck our redstone. I think if it overflows, actually, it doesn't actually ruin anything. I think the water just flows straight over the top and um, avoids the redstone, which is quite nice. But sometimes that is not true. Okay, there we go. So hopefully if we've done it right, if we stand on this pressure plate, the water will come out and we have opened the circuit. So what that does is allows us to be able to push power through this block and turn it off and also push power through this block and turn it off. So this is where the tricky, this is, this is the trickiness of it all. Um, if I come over here now, and jump on this pressure plate, it'll turn off the other one. There we go. Easy. And if I come back over here and stand on this pressure plate, it'll turn that one off. Just like that. And you still don't know how it works? <laughs> it's pretty simple, really. So, um, we've basically set ourselves up like a toggle switch. So, we know that if a bucket of water is out, we turn our redstone on, and it then pushes power through um, the circuit. And this circuit is a reset circuit. And as soon as we um, trigger this pressure plate, this block opens up and it allows power to go through it, right? Um, but, 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 it will turn off because that water bucket has returned to its full state and therefore, it won't turn this one off. 
Um, but then it opens on the other side this circuit to allow you to turn it off from this direction and it's powering this circuit to allow you to turn it back off in the other direction. Anyway, it's a little bit complicated. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a couple more of these uh, just so that you can see how it works. So if I jump on this one again, it's going to turn off and nothing is on. And that's how we want it to work. So this is, how, this is what makes it bi-directional. Now it is probably a little complicated um, to work out exactly what's going on. But what we're doing is we're setting up reset switches. So that it's testing for, is water open? Oh sorry, is water flowing? Yes. Do I need to turn it off because I've gone past it? Yes you do. So it'll turn it off. That's pretty much how it works. Alright, so let's build another section. So once again, six blocks out. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place down our pressure plate. Like so. We're going to put a block either side. And then we're going to place a dispenser facing up. Like so. And then underneath that we're going to place a solid block. That's allowing us to power those dispensers. Right. Now out from this side we're going to come out another three blocks. One, two, three. We're going to place down a comparator, two pieces of redstone dust, and then we're going to place a redstone torch right here. Alright, so if we place a bucket in, a full bucket, it'll turn that redstone torch off. There we go, that's right. And then we need to place um, our piston. So let's throw in a few blocks that we can break. And I think, nope, one more. Let's place our piston down there, and so place a, a block, a solid block on top of that. And what this is going to do is um, allow us to send power down, step it down, and join up with the other one. So we add another two pieces of redstone dust, and there we go. That's that circuit done. Now we need to place a, a block here, and that is to allow us to place a repeater on to finish our reset circuit for this one. All right, another block there with another piece of redstone dust. Now we're going to bring this circuit to the other side. So we're going to use our half slabs and bring them all the way across to here. And then in this particular area, we need to uh, put a solid block. So we're going to do that there like that. And then we're going to bring the half slabs out this way again. I think it's too many. All right, so then to wire that up, we just run the redstone dust across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a repeater, and then two more pieces of dust, and then I think it's a solid block, yeah, it is. Solid block, yeah. there. And then underneath that, we're gonna place our sticky piston, and then another solid block. The reason why we're using half slabs here is that this redstone that, that is powered can actually hold this piston open like a bud. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Um, that's why it's like that. Okay, so um, redstone dust there, and then we step it down to here. This is for the other resets which come in the other way. So let's join this one together. And to do that, we just place another block there, another block there, and we place a repeater there and a redstone dust there. And so once this piston opens up, that block pushes to this side, and then we can we can um, uh, connect that circuit, or well, finish the circuit. Uh, another block there. One there, 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 and one there. And this is our reset line. And then we're going to bring this up to blocks like that. And then place a half slab right there. And we're going to place another half slab here. So we're going to step this redstone up, so one in the middle there, one there, and one there. And then two redstone repeaters facing into those blocks there. And that is the beginning of a reset, reset line. And then we need a repeater there, and another piece of redstone dust there and there. And on this side we need another repeater here, set to one tick. And then, oh sorry, it's two ticks, one, two pieces of redstone dust there. And that is it. That is another line done. So uh, we're just going to keep repeating this over and over and over again. And what you end up with is a really long line of um, lazy river material. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's right. You can push your boat the lazy way. So all you need to do is just continue on with the um, the rail that keeps the water in. And of course, you're going to have to build a floor. So what we can do, actually, we should we should do this with this one. Um, we'll set up three three sections. That should be enough for you to get the idea. Um, so let's just bring these blocks all the way across. So I'm just going to encase this so that I can have some water flowing. And I'm going to show you something real neat with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use glass for the, um, the floor area so we can see what's going on inside. And I just need to make sure I wide up that last one correctly. All right, there we go. So if I step on this one. Yeah, I didn't put a bucket of water in there, did I? Don't forget the bucket of water. It's very important. <laughs> All right, so if I step on this one. It'll push me to the middle. And I can continue on to this one. That turns that one off. And then I'm over this side. Neat. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. That is pretty much it. I mean, I know it's a little bit complicated, a little bit hard to explain, but if you rewind the video and watch it over and over again, you'll get it. All right, so let's grab a boat. There we go. And if we place a boat down here, like right there, it'll set that one off. Turn that one off. Turn that one on. Turn that one off. And what we've got is a little pendulum. And your boat will happily go backwards and forwards forever. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's the basis of the two-way lazy river. Um, I suggest you have a go at it. It is kind of fun. Uh, you can build it as long as you want. And you can go around corners. The corners, like I said, are a little bit more complicated. But um, if you really, really pressure me enough, I could go into a tutorial. But I, I have, I'm out of practice. And... I would really love to make these tutorials easier, but I mean, it is a very it is a very complicated piece of machinery, but it's actually not that hard to build. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I know it's a little bit difficult to understand in places. Uh, I will try and do better next time, but um, that is my lazy river. So, like I said, if you're like me and you can't be bothered rowing, this is an easy way to get around in your boat. All right, I'll catch you next time. Later. Hello, Lelama.